I want to uh, spend a moment with a specific thanks to our two interns this year. Um, now, MassPike is a small organization. We have a volunteer board of around eight so far, hopefully growing next year, and a staff of two and a half with Jess and Crystal and myself. But this year, we were able to bring on the power of two amazing, dedicated, wise, uh, and just really intelligent advocates. Um, Noah Rowan from Clark University reached out to us and says, hey, I have an internship that the university just, just needs me to, to lock into. Do you have any projects for me? Um, he's a GIS student, which is a mapping program. And um, we had a need in order to track the crashes that were happening around the state that we've been keeping a database for for the past decade. Um, Noah took the spreadsheet, cleaned up the spreadsheet, got in touch with district attorney's offices, got in touch with town police departments to find out a decade ago how these crashes took place, tracked down obituaries, tracked down um, news articles that were over a decade old to build a report, which is about 30 pages, and it is so powerful to read the situations in which these crashes occurred. Um, I'm so grateful to have worked with Noah and will continue to work with Noah over the, the, the past eight months he's been with us um, and build this amazing report. Um, I wanna encourage everyone to go to the chat right now and check out the 105 report. Um, I'm sad to say that the 105 number refers to the number of fatal crashes that are analyzed in this report. Um, and sadly enough, two days after we released this report, there was another fatal crash up in Amesbury. So the number is rising. We don't wanna highlight the dangers um, or the negativity around it. The purpose of this report was to humanize and to tell the stories of these people. So they're not statistics, they are names, they are situations, and that has uh, a, an amazing resounding impact on our advocacy. Um, so Noah, I know you're here. Uh, I'm just gonna ask just to spotlight you real quick so everybody can just give you a quick round of applause um, to know that we are so grateful to have you. Um, and, and my heart goes out with you for doing some of the toughest work that we do at Mass Bike. Thank you. Um, our other amazing intern, we touched on it briefly with the Arlington um, side, but Petru um, Sofio, who approached Mass Bike um, as a high school sophomore, now a high school junior, um, with ideas on how to build better infrastructure on the road that he crosses twice a day to go to and from school. There was a fatal crash two years ago, um, and nearly the week after, or the month after that, there's almost a second serious fatal crash of a uh, of bicyclists who are just going home or going to the store or going as we all do, just, just going to get takeout. Um, and Petru, as a wise beyond his years, high school student said, I want to do something to change this. Um, Petru has been able to attend the design review committee meetings as a representative of MassPike, has been able to rally his fellow students and his peers, which really is the power of youth in the next generation to get these conversations rolling. Um, has been able to respectfully um, suggest improvements that paid engineers and consultants have missed. Now, not a hit to the consultants, but Petru has a, 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 an, a, an eye for this uh, and a mindset for this, which is not necessarily innate. Um, and Petru has been able to share his gifts in such a way that they have been implemented, not just respected and heard, but then implemented on the ground. And for those of you who have been, again, trying to get bike lanes instituted. It takes years and sometimes decades to get some of those worked down. So um, we would be nothing at Mass Pike without the local push. And so we are super grateful to be able to have brought Petru on as an intern um, who's still gonna continue the work in Arlington and beyond to make sure that the uh, Safe Cycling Network, not just is better for him and his fellow classmates, but that we are building an equitable and safe um, and just, bike-friendly environment um, in Arlington and beyond. So uh, Petra, if you're on, I'm gonna ask just a quick do a highlight for you. And um, just to say thank you so much for all the work out there. I'm grateful to have you. <laughs> 